Of course, no holiday party is complete without ample appetizers. Of course not. Luckily, our next guest has plenty of salivating suggestions. Welcome back, executive chef and owner of Pino Hospitality, Chef Anthony Pino. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yes. I see glasses and ice oh, yeah. and salt and... <laughs> Love all it. right, all of love our favorite it, things, yes. drinks favorite. and food. And yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, so before we get to the appetizers, how do we go about gauging how many appetizers? Because you don't want too little, sure. you don't want too much. Sure. You know, uh, so when you do a cocktail hour, you know, okay. and you know you're going to go into something else possibly, three to four, if your friends, you know your friends, but they're big eaters, small eaters, five would be like a max per hour per person. Okay. So five. five. Max. 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 Per, per hour. hour. Yep. Per, per person. person. There you okay, go. That's okay. Easy okay. So if you order from a caterer, you kind of know how to gauge and stuff of that right. sort. Right. Okay. So, but when you do an event, mm -hmm. first thing, the most important, cocktails. When your guests oh, arrive, agree. you want to make I sure agree. that when they come in, something's ready for them to drink. Okay. So they're going to a party. They know. Something uh, like what? Yes. <laughs> pomegranate margarita. Oh, oh yeah. Pomegranate right. margarita. That's perfect for this time of the <laughs> year. It is, as right? Well. So okay. uh, we have some salted rock glasses here. Mm. Lot of ice. Ice is key. It needs okay. to be cold. cold. Gotcha. Right? Cold. Truth, brother. Mm. All right. Okay, so tequila. Ooh, tequila. Okay. So I like mine. We call it NJS, New Jersey style. New so, Jersey style. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we. Woo! All right. All right. I don't want my New Jersey yeah, style. Yeah, you're not so. having yours. Okay. No. We have a New mocktail. York style. Okay. Style. So we have your tequila. Okay. Right. We're gonna do a pour over. So okay. you kind of. Then we have a little bit of triple sec. Right. Oh, right? Triple sec. Little triple splashy splash. Little splash. Right. Okay. Pomegranate juice. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's, like I said, it's perfect. Time. There you go. Now, what's your count that. there? How do you know mm, how much of each? Well, when you're in the business, you kind of know. Right. A little bit it's of really, this. you know, you look at it. The color looks good. Okay, that's good enough. I mean, no one's really gonna complain if they complain. Right. Gotta go. Too much alcohol. Right? Oh, yeah. oh man. Oh my gosh. A oh, little. Orange juice. Like, a little bit of that. Oh no. Okay. I never had that. Okay. A little pop of flavor. A little bit of tonic or club soda. Right okay. on. What's good now, about? Now, why tonic or club soda versus like ginger ale? Like, get away from the sweetness. You want to taste the margarita, you want to taste, you know, you already have your sweetness, you have juices and so right, forth, right. and this and that. Okay. Lime is a key. Why is that? Oh, you need the margarita. acidity level. Ah, yeah, okay. margarita. It's a margarita, you need that. Uh, Dude, it's not a margarita without the lime. Yep, yeah. so, uh -huh. um, but we talked about, um, when you look at it, you know the viscosity, which means like the color, the thickness, and mm -hmm. when you can look at it, you go, that's good. That's good. I'll okay. taste that, right? Uh, mine looks good. <laughs> so, we, yep, it looks great, right? All right. So, a little stir with some uh, rosemary sprig here. Oh. Uh, I love the hibiscus, you know, a little bit of a, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Nama stay into it. Right, you right, know? Right, I like that. So, little dunk, this and that. Now, I see you've got a lot of herbs there. Do you make sure to, like, put herbs in every drink for some reason? Uh, no, so sometimes we'll just garnish, you know, very floral, yeah. the aroma. So, when we decorate our home, mm -hmm. it's about the nature, the, nature, the love right. of food, gotcha. the love of the family. I do and smell events. it mm, now, so, so, since we right? put the so, rosemary in there. For you, All my right, man, my right mocktail. There. Let's mm -hmm. take that. Oh, there you go. Thank you, love. Salute. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mm. And the salt really gives it a mm. kick. I'm like, ooh, the salt. Ooh. Oh. You like that? Oh. Yeah. She's ready for the party. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> mm. This is good. No, right? it is great. Mm. Get our appetites ready for the food. Yep. Mm. Yeah, and it's funny that the orange juice brings out a little bit more of the little pomegranate bit. or something. It's yeah. very nice. Maybe it makes mm. it more dense. Yep, it goes very well together. Cheers to that. Yeah. So, All right. so, we're so, so now we're talking about some food, food right? Yes. All right. And we talked about empanadas. Mm. So empanadas are kind of like in every... Um, Every country, so right. they have some kind of empanadas. Mm -hmm. Italian, Yoko, Spanish, they have empanadas, and um, Everybody. German have pierogies. Okay. Ah, so, okay. you can so buy these, these are Goya skins. Goya okay. skins. I love Goya. Yep, yep. Okay. they make amazing products. Oh, wait, you just lay it's, them in this yeah, little Yeah, see this little thing? It folds. Where did you get this? It, it got at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Right on. $7, three sizes. Empanada maker. Awesome, oh. right? And then okay. once you have this, you just put in whatever you want. Put in your ingredients. Right. Now, how do you know you don't want to put in too much that's overflowing? Mm -hmm. So. When you do this, it's really about, uh, it could easily pop, but okay. it's, it's always always about a good seal. Okay. All the empanada, yes. when you use the fork, it kind of opens, it's a, my grandma didn't do that good of a job. Right. Okay. You know, this, oh, this grandma. seals the deal, okay. all right? So for you, we have vegetarian, right. broccoli. Vegetarian. Yeah, feel free to dig, right? This. So I can help the lady in. here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah a little bit of beef here. Gorgonzola, some, onions. some, yeah, oh, some onions. Oh, I'm yeah. Italian, right? So we have some salami, oh, mozzarella. Okay, all right. cheese, This, everything. little hot peppers. Now what about the sauce? Do I put the sauce in now? No, so the sauce is, so that's, you want to make sure you like your, your cheese is kind of like your goo. Okay. okay. So make it gooey. Make it gooey, <laughs> and then you always have a dipping sauce. Okay. And what's great, you can offer three or four varieties of dipping sauces. So when oh, you guests have these, oh, you want to try? 
Okay. Something okay. like okay. a little fun yep. stop. And then okay. you do this. Ready? One, two, two three. three. And give it a good squeeze. Screen. Good. Oh. You can squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, I see my stuff getting there. You go. Oh, there we go. Put your junk inside. Get in there. Get there my junk inside. Ah. Okay. Then, then with this thing here, you just take off the excess. Oh, it comes right off. Right? Yep. Let's pull that off. Yeah, there you go. This is a, a fun activity to do with, with the family. With family, yeah. kids, right. and so forth, yeah. Or with your drunk friends. Oh, yeah, nice. They're like, squeeze, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> squeeze, what? Like not your butt. <laughs> okay, so something like this, you open them up. Okay, open them up. And there you have up. your open Oh, let me get oh, that. Oh, I messed up. Perfect. Okay, squeeze it. Squeeze it tight. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Maybe I overstepped okay. mine. Maybe, it's okay. Look at oh, mine. good shot. Oh, well there you done, go. Huh? Okay, now so Drop these in oil, 375 degrees. 375 degrees. How much oil? Uh, you want to make sure they can float. Okay. okay. So, so depending what size pan you have, and okay. then you're going to come up with a product that looks like this. Wow. Now for 375 degrees. Golden for how brown. Long golden until, brown. Until they're golden brown. Golden brown. Because everything inside is you want it to be it to be cooked. If you're going to use shrimp or chicken, right, right. give it a pre-sauté. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Okay. Ooh. Right. Now which then, one's the veggie one? Okay, so we're going to cut these open. Let's now, can what. you eat them raw too? Because they look good. Well, they, yeah, raw. no, they look good, right? <laughs> they are raw. So if you want to eat raw cookie dough, it would be like that. But the oh, okay. cookie dough Maybe tastes not. a lot, a lot better. Yeah, All right, huh? so let's see what we have here. Uh, that's the beef one. Okay. Right. Beef and looks amazing. Look at the inside of that. And do you suggest for you know for your guests making mm. different types? Yeah. I mean, you know who's coming. So if my friends are coming over and we were going to do something a little bit, people mm. if they come to my house, mm -hmm. maybe wild boar, venison, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. chicken, whatever it might be. Mm. If your friends are coming over, maybe you might be a vegetarian, so you're going to make some right. vegetarian style. Here's a vegetarian you know, what's one. What's important though is this. what order you should make them. Because you know, like if your guests are coming at eight, how mm. quickly, you know, when should you put these in? Make these the day before, make them that morning, heat them up in the oven. Dip heat them up sauce. in the oven. So yep. fry them, do everything the day do them before. Fry them. And as you see, frying Ooh, is, a, uh, is a dry method of cooking, mm. so it's actually, it's a dry product. When it's, once it's dried off, there's no moisture. Left. Okay. Mm. So you guys are these? these are amazing. These are like cookies, they're, they're dry. Mm. So, right? You have and to try the dipping sauce. Oh, the salsa oh, verde. What is in the sauce? What kind sauce? of sauce is this? Uh, avocado, cilantro, jalapenos. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is so this is long. amazing. I'm going to put salami and provolone with salsa verde, but it's mm. okay. Mm. Is it not amazing? This makes me so happy in my soul. Now, mm -hmm. would it taste like this if I do it at home, though? Yeah. It tastes oh, like, yeah. Yeah, so, no. okay. Oh, well, while you finish chewing, you have to tell everyone where they can come taste these recipes themselves. Yeah. Tell us about your restaurant over in Hoboken. Yeah, so we are at... Um, Two restaurants. We have Bin 14, which is our Italian wine bar, mm -hmm. which is on 14th in Washington. It's a great six-year anniversary a few weeks ago. Oh, Thank congratulations. You. congratulations. And then we have Anthony David's, which is on uh, 10th and Bloomfield in Hoboken, 16 years. Mm, wow. And um, we're on our third project. We just broke ground, so next October, wait Woo. for it. Congrats. And we have a catering event company, good PR, good wife. Well, it's, it's all good. Life what is good. Life is good. Great, great kids. 2014. All right. And, yeah, 2015. <laughs> Great 2014, even better 2015. I like that. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. cheers to that. Cheers, Toast everyone. To that. Cheers, <laughs> everyone. Cheers. Happy holidays. Yeah. All right, happy Good holidays health. to thank you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. And we'll be right back with more Arise Entertainment 360. This is mm. so good.